Yo, what's going on, family? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? So, look, I got over, I want to say, five to ten people who already got a job with an EIN number uh, following my steps, right? But the problem is, right, I want, I want y'all to hear me out. So, uh, one person got a job as being a correctional officer. Another person got a job with being a, a debt consolidation person or something like that. They work for a debt collection agency. Um, another person got a job. What they had a job in, like, retail or warehouse or something like that. And, you know, so on and so on. Now, this is some things that I want you guys to avoid. Now, when you get a job with an EIN number, right, that's cool. I'm not going to knock it, right? But the flip side is you want to opt out of paying federal income taxes and state income taxes. And the way you can do that is when you initially sign up for the job, it's going to be a box that gives you the option to say that you are tax exempt. By stating that you are tax exempt, you are not obligated to pay any federal taxes. Now, you don't have to necessarily give a reason of why you don't want to pay federal taxes. And the reason why you don't want them to, the reason why you don't want to uh, pay federal taxes is because even if you file for federal taxes under the EIN number, the IRS can flag you. And also they are gonna, um, you're not gonna get your refund back because you work under the EIN number instead of a social. So by you doing that, and they can't verify SSN them or ITIN them in the database, which the IRS got access to, uh, what's going to happen is you're not going to get your tax refund. So be careful, you know, be careful with uh, working and just paying federal income taxes instead of exempt exempting yourself. So you want to make sure that you exempt yourself from taxes first and make sure your job is on board with it. And as soon as your job exempt you from taxes, you can work under your, your number. And the purpose of a lot of people wanting to work under the EIN number instead of the social, it might be a few reasons. One, you could be on child support. Two, you can have uh, back IRS payments that you owe them, like as far as taxes. Another one, you can be a convicted felon and a certain job that you wanna work at, you are prohibited due to the fact that you have a felony. Um, another thing is you can owe restitution to the federal court or state court. So uh, that means they garnish your wages anytime they find out that you uh, have employment under that social. Um, what's another reason? Another reason where you can have debt collection, I mean, debt, collect, debt collections companies, debt collector companies after you, right? So say if you owe a car debt, right? And it's still on your credit report and they actually got a judgment to garnish your wages. So if it's under your social security number, yes, they can garnish wages under that social security number. So that's the reason why a lot of people will work under their uh, EIN number. It's not for the purpose of fraud or to, you know, to do anything illegal. It's the fact that um, they necessarily can't work under their social. So they decided to work under the EIN number to gain employment. Um, so um, that's all I have to say. Peace and love.